campers bj peters here and i have to tell you i've had some time to play recently and i've been playing with a window box stamp set and the uh, bundled thinlets and oh my gosh i've been having so much fun i just can't wait to share it with you so when i look at something like that i always look at different um, things that you can do and this little element here is one of the things that i want to show you so here's the window box bundle. Look at the fun elements here and the window box framelit. Here is, you know, when you want to make a box, this is a box that you can make with it. What I like about this one, and you can see the element here that we're going to use in a, in a little different way, is that you can actually open this box and close it again. So you can put your treats in here and you're not wrecking the box by opening it. Kind of super fun. Love the flower. Hey, if you want to know more about this box and this flower and actually the stamp set, I created a with it. It's going to be debuting very soon on my blog. So make sure that you check that out, stampinbj.com. All right, so let's get started. When I first looked at this, I thought, oh my gosh, it could be in so many different colors. So, so let's do it in Watermelon Wonder today. So I have um, my basic gray cardstock, four and a fourth by um, 11, scored at five and a half. And then I've got some of the backgrounds designer series paper. This is obviously Watermelon Wonder, soon to retire in May of 2017. So if you're loving that color, you better uh, get it while you can. And then here are our other pieces. This is two and three fourths by two and a fourth. The layering piece is two and three eighths by two and seven eighths in basic gray. And then this is a three and a fourth by uh -huh. I forgot. Well, you can figure it out. Half inch bigger. Sorry about that. I have the Thanks for Being My Friend stamp here, and I have the Archival Basic Gray, and we are going to stamp that on this small Whisper White piece, and we'll stamp it. Looks pretty good to me. Then I'm going to ink this up again, and I'm going to stamp it on this Watermelon Wonder piece to help create this piece right here, and we'll just cut it out later. There's that piece. Snip. All right, let's just get this layered up here. Pop this up on some dimensionals to add a little dimension. This is the striped ribbon from in Watermelon Wonder. So we're gonna attach just a little bit of that right down there. Trim that up, there we go. on there oh that looks awesome I love that look just love that look all right so now let's look at that focal point so part of the window box thinlets is this image right here that is meant to be the kind of the cutout on the box what I've done is I've cut this out on some whisper or excuse me some watermelon wonder and I'm actually just gonna punch this out with a one and a half inch circle punch and then I've punched out a basic gray uh, one and a half inch circle punch as well and we're just going to here adhere those two together and let's add a couple of dimensionals here there we go look at that pretty cute and then when you use that die you end up with a couple of small hearts and I've saved one off to the side here and I'm going to do my darndest to put a little tape on it oh look at that I got it because I want to add just a little heart right there Look at that, it's so cute. And what a great alternate use. And I'm sure that this will inspire you to try some different things as well. Be sure and check back on my blog, stampinbj.com, for the class that's gonna be posted here in the next few days. And I appreciate your business. Please stop by, do some shopping. Love to hear from you. Have a great day.